Okay, this is Through a Glass Darkly, The Rumble's Haunting in Mount Pleasant. I'm actually starting a little before because I want to get uh, the orb there. And then if you continue this way and go up, you can get to the Ice Cavern Haunted Grounds. That's what's over there. Just ignore the stalactites that have a lock on it. Literally just walk up to them and just R1 light attack them and they'll break. You can get in. A histrionic ghost. I'm not gonna lose in a while. Check the Rebecca description Hardgrave for other timestamps. There's collectibles, more oh, orbs. Oh. Right. Sinner. There's an elite over there. We're gonna go. He killed me. He killed me. Here's yes, yes, orb. we saw you. We'll get right on it. You can shoot it from down here, obviously. It's visible, but... There's an elite site, if you're doing 100% or want the elites or anything. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. First Epistle of John, I believe. Chapter One. Verses eight and nine. You know your Bible. Some. Red McRaith, Banisher. We can talk scripture if you like. John Rumble. Oh, not really in the mood to talk, sir. Is anything the matter? Perhaps I may be of service. I don't need anything from the likes of you. A ghost screams bloody murder, yet he needs no help. Forgive me if I'm being nosy, but have you recently suffered a bereavement? I, I don't know what you've heard, but you... Keep your oar out of my boat. What would I have heard exactly? Don't mock me. I know what they say about me. I know what you all say. My dear, beloved wife is gone. Abigail is gone. That's all you need to know. It was an accident. A terrible accident. I'll speak of it no more. For someone who just lost his wife, he's awfully nonchalant. An accident? How did she die? She fell. She went to the cliff top and slipped and did not survive the fall. Now, leave me be. He's shutting down. We need a lever to prise him open. There's just, um looting in there. There's no collectibles or anything. But there's looting and stuff. Servant's key. This will get us into the house. An old key. Convenient. Let's match it to a lock. Spectral stains about the bed. Our ghost must manifest at night. John's Bible. Do not deprive one another. Puritan prayer and mandatory marital sex. Quite the life. And then the governor's letter. From Haskell. His wife, Abigail, had turned her back on him in the bedroom, and not in a good way. That's not the Puritan way. John's dirty dreams began before Abigail's death. Makes sense, if he was going without. 
check the barn first, then we'll talk to John. Voices from the dead ripple here. Shreds of a memory linger here. Hearkening? Now the past is mine to see. Will you stop walking away from me each time we are to converse? This is not conversation, Abigail. We do not converse. Not no more. You berate me, you belittle me, Abigail. Aye. I walk away. You don't care. You don't care about me. You don't care about our life together. I gave it all up to follow you to this godforsaken place, and you don't care if we belong. We are trapped here! I could die, and you'd not bleed. That's an right! Eye. I don't care! I don't care about none of it! Why don't you just troop off and kill yourself? And give me some goddamn peace! <laughs> oh. 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 Not a very nice man, turns out. The resentment between these two ran deep. The harsh price to pay for forgetting who you are. Letters of when they first met. They were very much in love once. Well, that changed. Marriage contract? All right, now we'll ask John about his wife. Abigail's clothes, already packed. Everyone grieves differently. I know. What do you want? You argued with Abigail. Threats were made. Fair to say your marriage was troubled, yes? Not your business. That's fair to say. Step carefully. Keep him talking. You met Abigail in Selby, I believe. I... How do you... How could you know that? You've been prying. How dare you? Your house is haunted. Your wife. We want to help. My wife is gone, and you know nothing of my troubles. You troubled by your dreams. Perhaps I can help. Oh, I doubt that. Abigail might have helped, but it's too late for that now, eh? I don't sleep good. But my head is clear. People are tense, but we cope. We always do. Do you, really? Tell me more. Tell me more about Abigail. God gave her more wits than most. But she wasn't shy about it. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes, I tell her. She had too much passion. She dwelt in earthly desires. And that's a problem how? When she stopped attending worship, I knew she was lost. Thank you for your time, John. Lord bless and keep you. Okay, now we're going to go find the cliff. I find John's opinion of Abigail condescending. All he does is blame her. Never questions his own behavior. We are going to stop off at the shelter real quick and activate that. What an ass. Also, if you're doing um, teacher's pet, collecting Bibles for Hugh in the Harrows, uh, there's a Bible in here.
It's right there. Okay, so that's the way to the cliffside. We are gonna get another orb first. There is some blood. We must find a way down. This will be the cliff John mentioned. Watch your step. What do we have here? A safe haven. Looks like she fell from here. We should go down, inspect the place. <clears throat> My heart sinks when I look at him, and I can't help but wonder, do I still love him? I'm burdened and ashamed and guilty because I don't love him. And yet I do. There's a long downtime. I don't care. That we are childless. I don't care that we are poor. It was always the two of us. That was our promise to each other. Okay, so piece of a broken mirror. Abigail wasn't alone. Who was with her? And I wonder what they were saying. More, that's some of her Perhaps we'll find answers at the bottom of the cliff. One here, one over there, and the last one is up there. Make sure we're loaded. Oh, for goodness sake, with this auto aim. Join the target practice. Like At least they're generous it. on time with that one. This must be where Abigail fell. Ah, they brought more friends. He puts you down to raise himself up. Don't be his weakling, Abby. Act! The other piece of the mirror. Ah. Uh, the other side of the conversation. Those mirrors feel like ghost ties, but I don't think they are. There's an inscription. Ethel Bly. We should ask John about it. I wonder who Abigail was talking to. 
She sounded devious. Or being supported by a friendly ear. I doubt it. Banishes. Oh, that's right. I gotta talk to someone first. At last you're here. You speak. I speak and I follow. I needed to be sure you'd take my side. We don't take sides. We're banishers. We don't take sides. So noble. You must feel so very fortunate. What's with the hide and go seek? Why manifest now? I'm stronger now. Stronger? Oh. What's your reckoning, banisher? I reckon John's melancholy isn't just down to grief. I reckon it's down to you. John has only ever felt sympathy for himself. He's a lonely, bitter excuse for a man. Don't indulge it, Red. I died at the bottom of that cliff, you know. I was alone. For hours. In agony. No one missed me. No one came. John did not come. I thought John was the one who pushed you. Didn't he? Even before my death, he packed my bags. He wanted me out. I did not know how badly his hatred burned. But when he saw me dead, I saw it in his face. Behind the shock, he was relieved. We aren't going anywhere. We'll keep digging. Yes. Do that. There's another hint for odd. John. She was odd. A dead woman with a shite bag husband. Nothing odd about it. You never miss a chance to drag the husbands down, do you? Excuse me? I... Let's just move on. Yes, let's. Waiting for the fight, because we know it's coming. All right, there's a collectible over here. The New Eden Curse, The Evil Dreams. I'll let you pause. Written by Lucy. Interestingly enough, if you do this before you do um, a Lucy haunting, I think where she's alive, you can actually ask her about it. It's really funny. The mongrel. Bly Estate. This must be where the rumbles used to work. Another haunted house. Jolly good. Oh, I forgot to confront John. It's optional. The but you can go talk to him. All right, there's three up here that we need to do, and they have to be done in order because clearing one then, like, clears another. Oh! 
quick and precise. Well done. Okay, there was the first one. And the second one is this. And this, I believe. There's only two. And he does not run in this house. He drives me insane. <laughs> Okay, then we've got one here and one down the hall. That's why they pay me good money. Okay, so all these doors are locked. So we have to start back here. And I'm going to grab this now. You need this letter, the Abby's note on paintings, in order to be able to get into the secret room. One for the trophy, two for Edith's lock chest. So if you're going for either one of those, you're going to need this letter. Because that's what activates the paintings. So this is the guest room. And this is where we get the master keys. Okay. And then in here is going to be the manor cache. Treasure map. I'm not going to spoil it right here in case you want to find it on your own, but I will put a link to it down in the description. So if you want to solve it, if you want to know where it is, you can just click on the link. But I'm not going to I'm not going to spoil it. There's Benjamin's diary. So we still cannot get into this room yet. This That's is locked the from office. the other side. This is sort of optional. <laughs> That's all it is, the screw. The imprint in the velvet is shaped like our mirror. Sense an echo somewhere nearby. Reunius vat aster himi. Need you no more. What are you doing? <laughs> Foolish girl. Please, no. Please don't hurt him. Whatever's in this mirror is neither ghost nor specter. <laughs> Where is Abigail? Abigail has left us, my dears. By what name should we know you? Always that same question, and you know better than to ask it, Antea Duarte. I don't need a name to send the likes of you back from whence you came. I've done it before. How does she know your name? It's not Abigail. It's a... Well, some would call it a demon. A bloody pest is what it is. 
you call us demons, but from where we watch in the great below, we are angels. You poor, transparent, knowable you are upside down. <laughs> what have you done with Abigail? What have you done with Abigail? She's here, in a way. I am the pool, deep and dark. She is the ripple that spreads and dies away, returning to the whole, a thing no longer. You're possessing her? Huh? We are friends. Such good friends. No, you're a lie. Vapor in the darkness. Really? When you sit beneath a tree, alone, with no one to talk to, no one to play with, how easy it is to lose yourself. You know nothing about me. Ignore it, Antea. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Poor, transparent, knowable you. What? Abigail tried to smash your mirror. Abigail tried to smash the mirror. She tried to break your hold on her. What happened to her? Are you a happy man, Red Rory McGraith? Answer the question. Do you feel hollow? What would you do to once again feel her touch? To feel her finger trace lines upon your cheek? What do you want here? Do you feel guilty for leaving your family behind? Was it worth their sacrifice? Are you ashamed? Do you want to hear it from Aoife's mouth? Your sister can't be far. I... no. Abigail wanted to protect John. To the end, she wanted you gone. Abigail made her choice, but she lacked the strength to live with it. What are you? Not ghost, not spectre. What are you? I am I, the bringer from beyond the gates. Yes, yes. We know all about the void. No, you do not. But you will. You will know the void inside out, and you'll know nothing else. Target couples. You target couples. You nest inside their hearts and plant the seed of resentment there, and grow it until it flowers and destroys them. We felt you in our hearts, too. You came to me. You all come to me. When all you have lost becomes too much to bear. Tell me, little girl, how does it feel to watch the world make ready to pass you by? Do not answer, Antea. You said it yourself. We shouldn't engage with it. I know what I said, and I know what I'm doing. Get on with it, then. You're the banisher now. You get on with it. All right. Time to end this. That's enough. Let's get this over with. Let's. Oh, get back here. I hate when they do that. Okay, so now this room's open. There's a it's vine close. in here. I feed it. Stay on your guard. And their fight. The roots will. I'm right here, you know. Is that, Is that it? You? Usually, there's a red guy. I thought you were gone. Okay, we have one here. I thought. One up there, and then one up there. You're here. You're really here. All right, now I don't know why, but sometimes he does not, they don't turn. So if you are just standing here and you're like, it won't turn to him, so you think it doesn't work, switch to him manually and then do it. Because as you saw, here's the right guy I knew was in this room. As you saw, it did not switch to him. For, oh, all right. Hello, hello, hello. Get, get me out of there. Don't let it crush you. Stop. 
Fuck! I'm stuck! Oh, we're switching to Antaeus so I can just reload with a punch. It's going to take John! I'm trying my best over here. That's enough, Abigail. Step away from him. What will you do? Banish me? Banish poor, sweet, innocent Abigail? Send us both into the darkness? You know well enough, Antea, my child. There is no ascent for Abigail now. There's no escape from the likes of me. Unless I grant it. I offer you a trade. A bargain. Abigail's ghost for John. Give John his due, and Abigail is free. Okay. I am actually going to blame John because I want to do... Whether you banish Abigail or blame John, you're going to get the same follow-up. It's the exorcism one where you have to uh, uncurse the mirror. And... If you banish Abigail, John's alive and he's easy to get the hair from. But if he's dead, then he's in the cemetery and I want to show that in the follow-up video. So we're going to blame John. John Rumble, a man of healthy appetite who says he loved his wife. When Abigail rejected you, you resented it. You took your anger out on her. I just wanted my Abigail back. Dedicated and devoted as she used to be. The Lord be my witness. I failed to love her as she was. But I am no murderer. In her misery, she was easy prey for the malignant spirit who now toys with you both. For those failings, you shall take the blame. Playtime is over. Abigail is free. No, send my masters one more soul for the feast. Do it! Not this one, demon. This one is ours. What's this? You'd steal my prize. We had a deal. All the more reason to hate you, Antea Duarte. All the more reason to wait for you. Prepare yourself, John. You too will be judged, Red McCraith. You too will be weighed and measured. Aye. I know. Okay, so we're not done here. I hope it's not another trick. We are going to solve the puzzle. In order to have the paintings be active and interchangeable with, you need to pick up the note that we picked up earlier in the back hallway. That will put a prompt on the paintings. And so, Okay, calm down and stuff you can do. So we're going to turn the master bedroom first. Every painting you straighten tilts another one, so they have to be done in a specific order. Office. Guest room. <clears throat> Excuse me. To 
trying to think of this as a library. And then the kitchen, and you'll hear it. Did you hear that? Yes. Nearby. We need to get to the top floor. Okay. Then we'll find something. Now be sure to pick that up, because there's the key. And then here's her locked chest. Windrows. Damage taken is reduced by 20%. But banish point gains are reduced by 50%. So if you're not banishing at all, this would be useful. And that is the rumbles. <laughs>